Alright, I got this purple and Hawaiian koa pen blank all set up. We got a piece of, of aluminum honeycomb in there. Let's go ahead and get this turned. Can we turn it at full speed, 3200 RPM, and using my negative rake uh, two inch radius scraper from Easy Wood Tools. Alright, I'm going to get that sanded and polished and I'll meet you guys back when it's all ready to go. Alright, we got this all sanded and we got a polish started on it. Now we're going to go ahead and go through, clean it up and do our CA finish. These steps are just really simple. You've seen a lot of people do them, but I like to use Glue Boost for an ultra perfect sheen that takes absolutely no time. First we clean it up with a little denatured alcohol. that all nice and pretty you can see how that wood just pops that's what our finish will look like when we're all done Get that nice and clean now we'll just go through and we will add on our medium alright we'll cover our finger in a baggie so we don't glue it to our finger then we'll just take some of this medium glue boost CA fill and finish pro formula and we will just add two coats of this and then three coats of thin and then I always hit that with the activator and that turns what well, it's usually a 20 30 minute sometimes an hour process about five minutes turn down to your slowest speed here we go hit that with our activator And you can see with just that first coat that it is already looking gorgeous. Now we just need to build it up in order to give it a good thick coating. That way we can polish it back with our polishing pads and we'll get this done. Now our three coats of thin. Work that over.
And there we have it. Five coats, fully dried, ready to go. We'll put this back onto our bushings, polish this back, and then we're ready for assembly. Alright, got her all polished up. Let's see how she looks. Oh, it's stupendous. Just gonna hit her with a little hot ultra gloss, and then I'll just give her that final glorious sheen. So I'm using just a little bit of hot ultra gloss plastic polish. Stuff works wonders, especially with CA finishes. That's super easy to use. So you just put just a dot on there. I mean, you don't need much. And then you just simply buff that in. Little wax on, wax off action. So you wax it in, you get the wax on it. Polishing compound will work in. The wax will start to degrade as you buff it back and forth. And as soon as you feel it kind of go like rubber, like you can feel resistance like it is right now, you just continue applying pressure. And then I'll turn the lathe on. About 2,000 RPM and go back to that same spot where you've got the compound buff it in some more because when it's degrading like that, that's when it's polishing the most that's when you really want to work at it once it starts to get warm, I back off and that's when it's time for wax off get the wax off of there and continue to get the wax off until your cloth doesn't come off black anymore just keep going to a cleaner patch, cleaner section of your patch Now look at it, it's just glowing. Alright, let me go get that put together. Alright, now we were making this one for a Frixion, and so we uh, made this just a little bit longer just because the Frixion style, this collar is just a little bit more forward by about five thousandths of an inch. So we just put that a little bit further forward, and that turns out just that much better. Now, we're going to get this assembled. What we're going to do is we have to glue in our front and back pieces, same as if we were doing a G2 ink style pen, because these just push in and out. The 8 millimeter tubes are just slightly wider because they've got a, just a slightly thinner wall uh, than the standard 8 millimeters that the editors come with. And so you're able to push those in and out, solve that, just put a little glue on the inside of the tube and then press that in which we will do that now so just a couple little dots I just kind of let it work down just slightly and then I twist it as I'm putting it in. That just kind of moves it around and makes it so you don't get too much buildup on the inside where the ink top needs to go. See that's already set. And now we just do the same thing to our tip. The only difference is, is that this part unthreads and so you need to tighten it up all the way then unscrew it about a quarter of a turn and then glue it in just like that so we'll just put in a couple of dots on this one as well then we just press that in place Now that's glued in. So now we can back off our tip so we don't glue our tip in. Now that glue isn't going to be fully set, so I just take a little bit of the activator. Just one quick 
blast down inside of there. I'll set up any undone glue. Now all the glue that's inside of there that was in the open should all be set up. So now we can actually take our ink, put our ink down in, and just see what kind of fitment we get with our tip. Being very careful not to apply too much pressure back and forth. Now our tip is seated in there nicely. It does have a little bit of wiggle room, so I am going to put a spring in there in order just to hold it back into place. And I will wait to fully do the spring until I know that that glue is cured up. So that'll sit overnight. Okay, so we've let this sit and fully cure up. Now what I did was I took a G2 leftover spring that I've got plenty of sitting around from doing my G2 ink refills. I just cut one real short because it doesn't need much. And then what I did was I ground down that back end because it always leaves just a little bit of a burr. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. I ground down that back end because it always leaves a little bit of a burr and then I bent it so that it sat flat against the shoulder of the ink. So now when I put the ink in you can see that it's not going to drop down over top of this shoulder that's right there. Okay, so now we're ready to put this together. Just hold on to my spring. We put our ink in. We put our ground down in, always put that to the shoulder of the ink, that way you've got the strongest point going against the face of your tip. So, because you want that, that ultra flat section against your tip. Thread that in, oh, and I can feel right there, the, the spring is catching, it's pressing against it, gave me a little resistance. And now there's no shake. It's perfect. So there we have it. That pen is done. Looks real nice. Real happy with how that turned out. That Frixion refill from Pilot is a real nice refill. And we'll get this mailed out to our customer. Gorgeous Curly Koa. Really happy with how that piece turned out. Curly Koa is my favorite wood to turn. It just is so beautiful. Alright, we're going to go get that in the mail. Another one down.